Okay, today uh, I want to talk to you about uh, a subject, um, a complex subject, um, and uh, I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll jump straight into it. Um, the subject that I want to talk to you about is described by five particular. Um, concepts and they are bios, regnum, regio, psyche and poseidon. Um, we are all accustomed to uh, what uh, I, I think we are all accustomed to what these uh, concepts mean. So once again, bios, regnum, regio, psyche, poseidon. Bios is the, concept, is the concept of life. It is the central concept that guides uh, the science of biology. Um, regnum um, is the Latin word for kingdom applied to biology um, applied to biology itself uh, is um, something like um, like okay it is not a domain because the domain is the is the level above it yet uh, the, the 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 kingdoms um, I'll just um, I'm 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 going to I'm going to subscribe to Wittgenstein's uh, methodology on this one, and I'll I'll I will define kingdom by its use. So Wittgenstein said meaning is use. So uh, the kingdom itself comprises of life and non-life, um, and the regnums. Uh, the regnums are animals, vegetables, and minerals. Uh, and the, the, the kingdom, um, the, 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 the two kingdoms that pertain to life itself are, life itself is, are the kingdoms of animals and vegetables. Now, regio itself, regio was the third uh, word in this sequence. Uh, regio is the Latin word for region. And, well, it has to do more or less with the specific, um, the, 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 the specific types of regnums that are uh, common to uh, geographical regions uh, themselves. Uh, psyche, psyche is the um, okay. Psyche is the soul, uh, whereas Poseidon is the force of uh, sub uh, of the subconscious. Um, now. Um, things are a little bit more complicated. The psyche is the individual soul, whereas Poseidon um, can be seen as, or could could possibly be seen as, or um, could be understood, at least as I understand the terminology, is the collective um, subconscious okay so um, there the, the, there exists a, sl a slight subtlety here between uh, psyche and poseidon now um, once again uh, I, I i mean to talk to you about bios regnum regio psyche and poseidon um, and I will do, I'm going to do this by means of a few examples, okay? 
So let's let let me begin by talking about stuff that is underwater. So when we're talking about fish depth, we're talking about the unconscious and the superior self. Um, okay, they 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 do represent the uncon the force of the unconscious, and the force of the superior self. Namely, psyche and Poseidon. Okay, this is what symbolically fish represent. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, to get too much in depth on the topic of what's underwater. I'm not a fisherman. I'm not a, I'm not a marine biologist. I don't know too much about fish. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to move straight into insects. Okay. And I have, I have a little more to say on the topic of insects. And I'll choose I'll choose the uh, uh, the regular topic, and those are bees and bee behavior. Okay, um, bees are wonderful insects. They are uh, they, they they produce honey, of course. Um, they, um, they 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 act in certain way. They they sting when they they, they feel threatened. Yet, yet if they sting. If they if they sting, they lose their life. Yet they do sting sometimes. Um, so bees are in fact very very interesting creatures. Okay. Um, how how do they um, how do they relate to human? Well. Uh, society can be seen, uh, bees are social animals and, well, humans are social animals too, surprise, surprise on this one. But I'm, um, the, the, there's more to this than that. The, 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 okay, there's, there's ant colony, okay, if we're talking about ants, there's and an computer science or informatics as it is called in some countries. Same thing, really. Um... If we're talking about ant colony computation or B insect computation in particular, um, the, uh, the, it's, um, I think I think that that sort of framework in computing essentially misses the point, okay? Because well, I, I'll, I, I'll I'll tell you what I mean. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, I'll jump into it and I'll be, I'll be as straight to the point as I can. I was at the university here in Perth at UWA. As usual, I was, I was outside the building, I was having a cigarette and I was looking around, okay? And there came a Chinese lady, I think she was Chinese. She may have been Korean, certainly not Japanese. A distinguished lady. Uh, I, I could see that she was distinguished. She was an old lady, of course, uh, much older than myself. I mean, I'm, I'm 40 years old, but that lady could have been 60, 65, okay? Um, she passed by me and then she went towards the center of the campus. And um, um, together with her, uh, I mean, uh, there came another an, um, an, a group. There came a group of uh, Asian young ladies. And it appeared to me, strange, strangely enough, it appeared to me that they were together. Okay? Yet, um, yet they were not together. Okay? So they, they, they could have been together, um, by, by all appearances, this is what I saw. They could have been together. Um, logic itself told me that these ladies were not together. The, 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 the much older lady and the, the, young, uh, the, the younger ladies, uh, they were not together yet. 
yet something uh, something about the situation told me that they could have been together okay <clears throat> and i think i've said enough to to realize the connection between social human behavior and uh, the other aspect the, the 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 aspect of what what lies under the surface what lies under the sea namely the unconscious and the superior self okay now um <clears throat> i think i think uh, i think that was the highlight of the presentation yet um um uh, there's also i want i also wanted to talk to you about flowers and immanence okay f uh, f flowers themselves okay now we, we we're getting into the other side of the regnum i guess um we we're, we're getting into the vegetable regnum and uh, the flowers flowers are symbols of immanence okay and uh, well as a young lady as a as an older lady you or as a man even as a man um young man or old or older person you 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 should uh, you you could ask yourself what sort of a flower are you okay i've seen i've seen these sort of questions on facebook maybe 15 years ago uh, there there were games circulating on facebook that would ask people for example what 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 sort of a dog are you okay what what kind of a dog breed are you if you were to be a dog and they would ask you, um, they, they, they would ask a person uh, questions, psychological questions, behavioral questions. And I, I, I played that game and uh, from memory, I was some sort of a, I was a very, very cute breed of a Japanese dog. And that, that was interesting. <laughs> the result in itself was interesting and I, it, I, I really thought about it. Of course, it was just a game, but, and of course, I'm not a dog. Yet, uh, yet the game in itself was interesting. I think I yeah it it uh, it made me think about things in a different way. Now, when we talk about flowers, okay, I'll well, you 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 are able to ask somebody is able to ask a young lady or a young lady could ask herself, what sort of a flower am I? And yeah, I like um, I really like cacti. Cacti. The cacti um, is um, is uh, is the plural for for a cactus, right? So um, that that that's. Um, I mean, I like all sorts of flowers. Of course, roses. Roses are awesome. Okay. <clears throat> Ro the, okay. The rose is the symbol of England, of course. Yeah. Um, there was a, a famous war in the past, though the the, the War of the Roses, and um, even to this day, uh, there, there's a rose on the on the T-shirt of, of 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 England. And I, I'm of course I'm talking about the rugby team. What else? Um, so yeah, roses roses are awesome. I I really like roses, but cacti cacti are also interesting flowers they, they they are extremely beautiful and what's what's very very special about uh cacti is that they're they're ephemeral they, they only last uh a day and a night or, or or something like that i have i have a few in in front of my house and um they they they, they, they are they are uh, they are really really special now uh Keeping in keeping to uh, the vegetable regnum, uh, of course. Uh, okay, I'm not. I'm, I'll keep it brief, and I'm not going to talk to you about uh, minerals and uh, um, geology that much. We could we could talk about that, but uh, maybe maybe some other time. Let's talk about trees. Okay, trees are the symbol of growth genealogy and temporality okay there there exist things that are okay a, a tree um, generally speaking a tree grows right and they are much much 
older. Like so some of the trees that we see, right? The, 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 the tree that are so huge and old. They, they're much older than us human beings. And, well, when I talk about trees... Uh, okay, okay, the, the obvious, to me, the obvious... Um, symbol is, is, is that of, of genealogy. Uh, yet, um, okay, um, and what is genealogy, right? I mean, I'm a mathematician, okay? Who taught me mathematics? Noam Greenberg taught me mathematics. Uh, um, there, there exists a, a, a website. There exists a website um, uh, on which I haven't been logged yet. I've um, I have um, I have applied for that, but I'm not sure what's going on. Um, MathGenealogy.org or something like that. If if you type in Math Genealogy on Google, uh, that, that's a pretty interesting website. And uh, okay, there's there's. Um, uh, I should be in there be, uh, because Noam Greenberg taught me mathematics. And who taught Noam Greenberg? I mean, um, uh, a person, um, a professor named Shore, named uh, um, um, taught Noam Greenberg. And then a famous, a very, very famous professor named uh, Gerald Sachs uh, uh, taught uh, um, pro uh, Professor Shore. And you, you, you can see, and eventually, eventually you can trace your gene genealogy to people like Turing and even further back to Leibniz and Newton. And uh, that, 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 that is an interesting game. And um, of course, of course, it's a game. Uh, it's nothing but a game because, well, uh, research interests, research interests do change, right? So, um I mean, when, when I was studying mathematics in depth, Noam Greenberg spoke to me about uh, computability and algebra. And uh, I, ended up, I ended up working in combinatorics and um, uh, uh, com computational complexity. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, guess, uh, uh, guess through the academic process itself, the spirit moves from person to person and the approach moves from person to person. Um, my proof for the Riemann hypothesis, well, uh, it, it, it has a lot of, a lot of, a huge component of what, what, what I've learned with uh, Professor Greenberg, yet uh, the, 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 there's also... There's also a, 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 a doctor at uh, the University of Auckland named uh, Jeremy Seligman. And, uh, well, I took a course w as an undergraduate with uh, Dr. Seligman. And, well, uh, he taught me some stuff. He's a, he, he's a philosopher. He's, uh, he works in philosophy. Yet uh, he um, he's doing he, he's he is doing formal logic, and well, uh, he told me he taught me something about the structure of proofs um, in <clears throat> uh, formal logic as an undergraduate that that that, that I did use about how uh, namely about how to tailor mathematical proofs in order to to obtain the desired result. So yeah, that's that that's about it about trees. They represent genealogy, growth, and temporality. It at at, at the huge scale, uh, cosmic scale, I guess. The 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 huge cosmic scale of uh, the universe. Something something that is much much bigger than us humans. And then we have um, the usual animals that we get to see. From time to time, uh, if I was to eat, okay, okay, I'm, um, I know, I know, uh, um, I know. I said before that I, I'm, um, I'm a fan of kosher stuff and and veganism, but uh, I, sorry, sorry about this, but I do enjoy venison, okay, 
And when we talk about venison, a rabbit, a, a rabbit, of course, is not kosher. Yet, um, stuff. Yet, deer, deer, for example, is uh, kosher, I think. Um, I okay, but um, I'm not talking about eating them. Uh, they, they they are magical creatures. Okay, so when when we talk about so, sorry for the mistaken categories on this one. However, when I talk about uh, stuff that we eat and we and I talk about venison in general, in general, venison type of creatures are magical creatures. And well, uh, other other creatures that I that I may choose to call totemic. Um, could be wolves, tigers, eagles, yeah, animals like that. Um, I, I, and I, I've enumerated a few, and they are my favorite creatures. Okay, my favorite totemic creatures: wolves, tigers, and eagles. Yet, uh, if, okay. Uh, Yet, if 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 I was to choose, okay, the eagle represents um, uh, the eagle itself. The eagle itself, I think. Sorry, I have I haven't double checked yet. The eagles represents um, standing guard. I guess it it represents a guard, guarding. Um, guarding something precious, yet uh, uh, it also represents the, a, a force of reason and 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 a force of perception. Uh, whereas uh, tigers, okay, the, the the famous tiger that I have in mind is the tiger of uh, Master Funakoshi, right? The the the, the creator of uh, Shotokan Karate. Um, uh, um, tigers represent elegance, okay, in martial um, in martial arts. It is it is a it is a very well, well suited symbol for a style of of martial arts, I guess. <clears throat> they are very elegant, and wh whereas wolves wolves themselves represents the the, 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 the represent the soul. The, the the wolves wolves are um, wolves in wolves in themselves represent fidelity, spirituality, and and ultimately soul, and so um, I would I would have to settle and say that if I was to choose a totemic creature for myself. I'd, I'd I'd be very happy if I was a wolf, yet um, I'm probably a tiger. <laughs> uh, thanks for your attention on this one.